We're picking up with part two of our shooting of the infamous VOR approach into Martin State in Maryland. This approach features a DME arc as part of the final approach. We're now on that arc, approaching Cumbie from the west. Cumbie is on the 021 radial from Baltimore, so when we cross that on Nav 1, we can descend to 1800 feet. The next step down fix is Gove's, the final approach fix, which is on the 039 radial. We continue on the arc 14.7 DME from Baltimore. We level at 1800. It's good to get down there pretty quickly so we can stabilize for the next step. Crossing the 030 radial, we continue our turn 10, twist 10, and set 039 on the OBS. This will tell us when we've crossed the final approach fix Gove's. As the needle centers at Gove's, we begin configuring for the approach. The next step down is 1260 at Zovap on the 047 radial. We're handed off to Tower, who clears us to land runway 15. We're a little too close at 14.6 DME, so we won't turn too much to the right and let ourselves drift out a bit back to 14.7. We pass the 047 radial and could go down to the MDA or just above. We set 060 on the OBS, which is the missed approach point. We're on like a three mile final now, so we need to see that runway soon. We'll level off at 1000 above MDA and looking out, we see the runway just off to the left. We're at 14.6 DME, just inside the arc. So you can see that had we been directly on the arc, we'd be pretty well lined up with centerline. As it is, this is fine alignment and we could continue to land from here. But let's do the mist. We'll stay on the arc and when reaching 060 radial, the runway threshold, go mist by giving it full power and starting our climbing right turn. We determined earlier that a 210 heading would be a good intercept to grab the 068 radial inbound towards Baltimore. So we fly that. We set 068 on the bottom of the OBS. The inbound heading is 248. Meanwhile, we're handed back off to Potomac who tells us to hold as published. When the number one needle centers, we fly inbound along the 248 course. We're looking for 11 DME from Baltimore. That's where our arc begins to the holding fix, Roast. When we get there, or about a half a mile prior, we make a left turn to 160. Now you can cheat by looking at the 90 degree point on the VOR head. We're arcing our way to roast, which is the 108 radial. So we turn right 10 and twist right 10 until getting to 108. We also have a cross radial from Andrews set up on the number two VOR, but we'll know we're at roast when on the 108 radial, which will be on the bottom of the display and 11 DME from Baltimore. Why are we putting the radials on the bottom here? Well, it's a bit of a matter of preference, but when we're in the hold, we'll be flying inbound along that 108 radial. So our inbound course isn't 108, it's its reciprocal, 288 degrees. That's ultimately what we want to have on the top of the OBS. Crossing that point, we begin a left turn for the teardrop entry. The outbound heading is 108, so to offset that by 30 degrees to the right, we want a 138 heading. We'll time one minute outbound. And we actually make a mistake here and don't turn all the way to 138. This means we're too close to the inbound course and could overshoot it when we turn in, so we correct the heading and fly out a bit more than a minute to compensate. When we turn inbound, we are able to pick up the needle in the center thanks to the correction and fly in. We'll time how long it takes to go inbound. We want it to take one minute. We get to the holding fix when the DME reads 11 and we make our outbound turn all the way around at a standard rate to 108 degrees. We're abeam the station when the DME reads 11 again, so we time outbound. So this is how we'll hold using the VOR radial and DME, and this is the end of the heart-pounding VOR approach into Martin State. Hope it was fun to watch, try it out for yourself, and check out Flight Insight Ground Schools today. We go from private pilot all the way up through CFI.